first ever indigenous female bishop in Nigeria Kingdom, Ethiopia's local government area of Delta State has been consecrated. It was a day of celebration in Nigeria as General Overseer of Jesus Christ Covenant Mission Incorporated, Pastor Mrs. Mary Jemiregbe, was elevated to the position of a bishop as she was successfully consecrated by Archbishop Godwe Awomakba, General Overseer of Christ Missionary Crusaders Church, alongside Archbishop Solomon Bakara, General Overseer of Gospel Mission Incorporated, among others. The ceremony, which took place at the church headquarters in Okinego Community, GC, also saw the presence of the Royal Father of Ijere Kingdom, His Royal Majesty Udure One, JP PhD, the OV of the Great Ijere Kingdom, as all present witnessed the consecration and presentation of Bishop Mrs. Mary Jemiregbe as the first female bishop in Nigeria Kingdom. Female Bishop in Nigeria. Because of your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ, and that your work has proved it to be so, we hereby lay our hands upon you. And I pour the oil of the Lord upon you for an impartation for you to be strong in the work and go forward. And now I anoint you. Go, preach the gospel. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. And now lay my hands upon you. Now from henceforth, the glory of God will descend upon your life. You will not be the same person we know before. The glory of God will cover you. So shall it be. The ministry will grow in your head. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. white, it is pure, it signifies that the servant of God must be pure and live in holiness. And therefore we invoke the power of God to be holy on this rochette, that at this is put on her, she will become holy like our Lord Jesus Christ. We walk in the path of holiness in Jesus' name. This called plated or cuffed or handband. And as we put this on her, this shows that Jesus Christ our Lord has handcuffed her hand to do good all the days of her life. Henceforth, she cannot do evil anymore. Therefore, we possess them by the power of the Holy Spirit that wherever Jesus went, he was doing good. And that power will possess you. And you shall do good all the days of your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The red long suit is called Shimei. This signifies the blood of Jesus Christ that he redeemed us and gave us freedom. And so nobody can succeed without the blood of Jesus Christ. We invoke the blood of this Shimei. That as we put it on you, the scripture shall be fulfilled that the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel shall speak for you, for your family, and for the mission, and for a great kingdom, to the glory of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. The stone represents times and seasons that the man or the woman of God must have understanding of times and seasons so that we'll be able to advise the people well and direct them and tell them what to do to the glory of God, whether economically, politically, financially, spiritually, and otherwise. Thoughts of God well in Jesus' name. Amen. the cross and the shame. The shame is knitted together which represents unity. 
And by this, it means that you will stand for the unity of the body of Christ. And the cross stands for your dedication to our Lord Jesus Christ, your, un, your undeniable uh, trust on Him, meaning that you died with Christ and you resurrected with Christ and you will stand for Christ. Therefore, as we put this chain and the cross upon you, the grace to bring unity to the body of Christ will possess you, and you will die to self, and Jesus will manifest in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. The ring shows the boundless love that Christ has for his people, which you will have for the flock of Christ beginning from this moment. That is shows the agape love. And number two is your symbol of your marriage to the Lord Jesus Christ and to his church. So as we put this ring on you, you cannot divorce the church and you cannot divorce the people of God. And the spirit of God shall be with you forever. And the love of God will be shared abroad in your hearts. In Jesus' name. Amen. the cope and in the cope you have the hood that is knitted to the coat to the cope this hood shows that the work of the kingdom of God that is you have carried already that you cannot be dropped so it is too late for you to resign that is what it means and the cope represents the winds of Jehovah. That as it shall be put upon you today, the scripture will be fulfilled. That he that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And he shall say unto the Lord, You are my refuge and my Lord, your habitation. The Lord your Most High, place shall not come near your glory. He shall meet you above all equals. In Jesus' name. Amen. The mitre represents the crown of life that the Lord Jesus Christ shall give to us at the end of our journey and of our work here on earth. And on the mitre, you have the two edges of the mitre. We represent the tongue of fire that came upon the apostles on the day of Pentecost. And no one can succeed without the baptism of fire. Therefore, we invoke the fire, the original one that came on the day of Pentecost, upon this mitre. That as we put this mitre on you, you shall become flaming fire. And the fire of God shall engulf you. And you will succeed. And you will not miss your crown in heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen. also means the shepherd's staff. Therefore, we invoke the guiding power of our Lord Jesus Christ to possess this cross here, the shepherd's staff, that it shall be given unto you, which is also your staff of office, that this day you will be able to direct, to guide the flock of God and make them straight, righteous, prepare them for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the power as we give it to you and manifest it in Jesus' name. Amen. I give this to you in the name of God the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let it be in your head and in your heart. Out of it, you will be able to get the food of the Spirit, they are published and revelation in the book. In the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. we present to you the certificate to make your, your 
consecration more authentic and it has a proof from now in the name of God the Father, yeah. the Son, yeah. and the Holy Spirit. And we enthrone you in this kingdom. Each time you sit down here, the thought of God will overtake you. Yeah. In the name of God the Father, yeah. the Son, yeah. and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And hereby introduce her Lordship, yes. Bishop. Amen. 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 The ministry founded over 43 years ago also ordained new ministers such as a reverend canon, reverends, deacons, and deaconesses. In his congratulatory address, the monarch of Ijere Kingdom felicitated with Mrs. Yemirigbe and urged her to continue in the vial of God as she has done for decades. People of God, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! I'm indeed delighted standing on this ground today because the people of this great kingdom first started making wealth from this community. Over 600 years ago in the 15th century, my great grandfather, called Ikwibe, discovered this community. Why, where yeah, he exploited money. Money there was cowries. And he made so much wealth from it that they now nicknamed him Ikwibe Nigo. This is Okunigo. Ikwibe Latigo. Ikwibe Lofe. I love you. I congratulate you. That you are coming in from this man. So we go as I go down to you. You go Kalorona. Ukoma Kalorona. Otobe Kalorona. Anya Koba Kalorona. Iko Risho Shire Kalu Wepenu Angene Kalu. Okolo Tosaka Oye Nyota Oyo. Tana Tana. Ijere We Nyayo. Abo Wosan Aluboye. This is 2024. If I am correct, this ministry is 43 years old. In this plan, 43 years old it was established in 1981 as a journalist who did it in the past. And I know that for that 43 years, she has stood solidly behind her husband and the ministry. And therefore, the honor done to her is a honor done to the great generation. We deeply appreciate you. We are thankful to you for this honor. And I beg bold to tell you that we will not be ungrateful. We definitely, on behalf of her, she will act and work in consonant with the details of the new law. Praise the Lord! In the chat, after the ceremony, Bishop Mrs. Mary Jemiregbe thanked God and all who came to support her before speaking on her journey and how she hopes to carry on winning souls and preaching the gospel. What I saw is, is the making of the Lord. Even me did not even plan to be like this. It is God who has proposed this plan. I brought it to pass in my life and in the church, in the entire land. It can only be God. 1978, February, I gave my life to Christ, Holy Ghost, I'll be in ministry. And it has been up and down. When we started ministry in this community, there was turbulence time, there was battle, spiritual battle, a physical battle. I lost my, my children. So basically to make confession, they took us to court in an attempt to close the church. But the Lord sustained the church and sustain our lives. So, I mean, now that you are now the, uh, the bishop, the first female bishop, what advice do you have for your church members and, uh, and uh, other persons from the great kingdom? The advice I have for them is that the God who did it for me can do it for them. 
and the purpose of this elevation is not just to be proud, but to go out for crusade and so winning. That is the essence as far as I'm concerned. My name is Akbarero Henry Akbos, and this is Rero TV. Thank you for watching.